Simon here. So this is a little bit of a bar secret one I mentioned in a previous video. Emails, girls in the bar. It's a bit of a scam. So you found yourself a nice bar girl. You've fallen a little bit for her. You're sort of becoming boyfriend, girlfriend in your eyes. Your holiday's over. You've gone home. You're emailing this girl. She's got an email address. You're emailing her, chatting. But remember this. The girl, this bar girl, is probably a professional bar girl. She's making a living. She's got other customers. She's not going to stop seeing these other customers. Um, some of you might want to send her money so she finishes work in the bar and so she goes back to live in the village. You might send some money to her and she might tell you she's going back to the village. Quite often she won't go back to the village, she'll carry on working. Um, and take that bit of money off you. Over months and months running a bar, probably 20 or 30 girls were working at the bar, come and gone. In the mornings, before, when the bar just opened and there was no customers, the girls would sit down and chat and tell me the stories. And they kept asking me, as the bar manager, as their friend, if I would help them with emails. Now, I'd been told about this before from another bar manager and I said, no, I'm not going to help you with your emails. It's time consuming. I haven't got the time. I don't want to get involved in that. And some of the things you want, I don't agree with. So I didn't do it. I'm glad I didn't. Opposite my bar, 50 meters up the road was a very, very small internet cafe in there was a Thai guy who spoke very good English and also one of the other bars near me the bar manager was wasn't British he actually did get involved in the emails and both these people this bar manager and the guy in the internet cafe were making money off you So lots of men come through Patea, fall in love, go home, start emailing the girlfriends. Sometimes it'll break up, sometimes it'll keep going. These, some of the girls would have realized, some of the hardened girls, the professionals that have been there a while, realized that they could send emails with the help of somebody who can speak, type, write English, that they could extract money from foreigners who'd fallen for them, um, who didn't know the scene, maybe it was new people who'd just come first time, and they would get this other bar manager, and this guy in the email cafe, to write emails. Uh, as an example, I've got a problem at home, one of the members of family is ill, I've got to go home, I'm not going to be able to talk to you, I need some money, can you help? And quite often, you know, this bar manager and this uh, email, they'd write it in such a way, and they'd break it up so it didn't look like it was perfect English, they were very clever the way they did it, and the foreigner would like, no problem, I'll send you some money. And then the story would change, it's like, you know, someone's had a bike accident, cows died on the farm, this has happened, or I've hurt my tooth, I need some work on the teeth, or loads of different stories. And these internet cafe bar manager were writing all these emails, and some of the, the hardened girls had a lot of boyfriends, a lot. And they were writing loads and loads of emails and just flying them out. Um, now, 
way back when I first went to Thailand, that first couple of weeks holiday, I fell a little bit for a girl and I did email her a couple of times. And I had one of those emails, but I didn't fall for it. I party company from that girl. But I can see how it is easily fall into that trap. These guys were charging commission off these girls. Every time money was sent, they would take a cut. They were making money off those emails. And the girls were happy because it was free money. So this bar secret tip. If you are emailing a Thai girl that's in the bar scene and money is requested, just stop and think about this video. It might be legitimate, she might need help. But there again, there's a chance it's a, don't like using the word, but a possible scam. Lots of bars, internet cafes, have people who write these emails in return for commission. I hope this video, just one of you, sparks a light bulb and stops you pressing that send button. Just make a few more inquiries before you send money to your new love. There you go. Another little tip for you. I hope it helps somebody. Bye for now.